Wilkmore, we hardly knew you. Larry Wilmore, who replaced the Colbert Report after The Daily Show was told thanks but no thanks. The nightly show on Comedy Central was canceled Monday. The reason? Low viewership. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, not good. Yeah. Um, less than a million people watched it a night. 0.72 million people. So 700,000 people watched it on any given night. Not good enough. Um, Larry Wilmore, who was a writer for all sorts of shows. I didn't know. I was reading mm. yesterday. He's a quite an, an accomplished uh, comedy writer. Hmm. Um, Pennsylvania's attorney general was convicted of nine charges relating to leaking grand jury information about a political rival and then lying about it. She was once an up-and-comer in the Democratic Party. Now, never to be heard from again. Uh, the United States is transferring 15 detainees from Guantanamo Bay to the United Arab Emirates on Monday. 61 people are now left at Guantanamo Bay. By the way, the campaign promise for President Obama was to close Guantanamo Bay. He will leave office, and Guantanamo Bay will still be open with 61 people still there. Um, and and uh, finally, Kelly Jackson. Yes. According to USA Today Rock the Vote survey, 62% of young Americans, 62% of Americans age 18 to 35, Yes. 62% of them say that transgender people should be allowed to use the public restroom of the gender in which they identify. Overwhelmingly? Overwhelmingly, majority. 62% of those 18 to 35 say transgender people should use whatever bathroom they identify with. Hmm. Okay. Those are the numbers inside the news here on the Big 550 KTRS.